not every medicine that you see is meant to be used by everybody there are other medicines that when you use them can harm your body and that is called contraindication to a drug meaning they are not meant to be used by certain people and when you use them they cause harm welcome back to comfort home nursing care youtube channel today we are going to discuss something little about a, a video that came in the month of june on the third we lost a sister a mother a friend a daughter to somebody and uh, that was uh, the late baby gloria uh, i have come up with this video because of people's comments that was uh, on her video a video that uh, came out about her death when they released a news of her death a lot of people uh, commented about the cause of her death and as you know me personally when a video comes up I always go to the comment section and when I went to the comment section there were comments that I saw there that people were guessing that probably she could have used an IUD which is a family planning method it's a contraceptive that is put inside the uterus to prevent pregnancy so some people were saying probably the IUD that is the implant could have entered from her uterus into her heart and that was the cause of her death that's why I have come up with this video today uh, to give you or to discuss something a little bit I'm very sorry if it could bring maybe a sad memory, but still we are in the mourning period. We are still mourning for our sister uh, who passed on from Dubai. That was baby Gloria. May her soul rest in peace. Uh, we pray for the family to take heart. May her soul rest in peace. So if you're interested in this topic that I've told you, please watch this video to the end. My name is Sarah Adong and I'm working with Comfort Home Nursing Care Services. We are a group of medical professionals that uh, do bedside nursing care services to patients at the convenience of their own homes. We come to your home and we offer the bedside nursing care services. We also come to hospital. We accompany you to hospitals and we care for you from there in case you don't have relatives. You can call us on our contacts that are running on your screen for our services. Our services include All right, welcome back. So today I chose to talk about this topic. I chose to respond to that particular comment. There were a lot of comments in the comment section concerning the death of the late baby Gloria but i am only responding to one particular uh comment that stated that the late baby gloria may her soul rest in peace they stated that she died because the iud entered the heart it entered the heart and she passed on i personally as a medic uh i think this is wrong there is no way an iud can leave the uterus and then enter the heart because the uterus itself as an organ it is a, an it's a separate organ and then the heart also it's a different organ though they are all located in the abdomen but they are all different organs so there is no way the iud is going to leave the uterus and then go into the heart that is a wrong statement nevertheless as i stated earlier on not every medicine not every drug is meant to be used by everybody there is what we call contraindication that means uh the drugs that are not supposed to be used by certain type of people if you use it it can cause harm uh, now for this iud which is a family planning method for that iud in particular number one it has contraindication that is what i want us to learn today it has contraindication 
Number one contraindication of an IUD is you are not supposed to put an IUD when you are pregnant. It is contraindicated in pregnancy. That is number one. Number two is cancer. Anyone who has cancer, either cancer of the cervix or cancer of the uterus, is not supposed to use an IUD as a family planning method. Why? Because the cancer cells, it causes the cancer cells to grow up very fast they will grow up very fast and it will cause someone to die very fast so it is a contra a contraindication to cancer patients so as you're thinking to go and maybe put an iud before you just run to hospital and ask for the iud you are supposed to first of all do a cancer test that is a cervical cancer test it's called a pap smear you go to hospital and you ask the doctors to please do it for you so that you rule out the cancer to just make sure you don't have the cancer. Number three, unexplained bleeding. Unexplained bleeding from the vagina, if you're having unexplained bleeding in between your periods and you don't know the cause of the bleeding, you're not on any family planning method, that could cause the irregular spottings or the irregular bleeding and you you keep on having bleedings in between then you don't qualify to go for the iud because the bleeding could be coming from the uterus or the bleeding could be a cancer that is coming and already someone who has a cancer is not supposed to use this iud number four an existing infection if someone already has infection, like a UTI, uh, that is urinary tract infection, you already have the infection, you are not supposed to use this IUD because it is going to increase the infection. The infection is going to go around the IUD and then it will grow. It will make, it will cause more infection. It will actually increase the infection it will worsen your infection and then uh it will be untreatable it will cause you more issues so you're not supposed to use an iud if you know you have an infection the best to do is you first go and you get treated before actually you test and treat you test yourself for the for the infection and then you put the iud you let the doctors put the iud also if you are someone that is always getting infection all the time every week this week you have an infection another week you have an infection you don't qualify to put an iud because it is going to increase the infection and you'll get maybe a pid that is pelvic inflammatory disease so if you're always getting infection you don't qualify to use the iud another group of persons that are not supposed to use the iud is are the people who have multiple sexual partners if you have multiple sexual partners you are prone to getting infection all the time because you don't know where the partner has gone and and he or she might bring for you infections so here you're not supposed to use the iud you can look for another family planning method that can help you better instead of an iud another thing that i would like you to know is it is important to know to have some knowledge about the medicines mostly family planning for ladies it is better to have some little knowledge about the family planning method that you want to use if you go to the hospital please ask the doctor ask the doctor about uh, what you don't understand whatever you want to know about a family planning method and even the phones you have your phones you can google google about a family planning method that you want to use don't just wake up in the morning because someone has told you there is an iud there is a, maybe an injection that will take you for some time and then you just run to the hospital and then you request for it please make sure you have some knowledge about uh, about the drug you want to use also uh, following the dosage the dosage of a drug every drug has a dose even the iud uh, has a dose as in uh, there there's there's that one for three years 
there is for five years there is for eight years and ten years so uh, if they have put for you that one of three years make sure at the end of the three years if they have told you to go back in a particular debt make sure you go on that particular debt and the iud gets removed don't stay with it for more time don't keep on buying time because you are busy it will cause more harm on you than good the next thing is it is very important also to follow doctor's advice whenever you people come for medication there are a lot of things that we tell you there are advice that we tell you uh, don't do this don't do that make sure you follow everything that the doctor tells you and make sure you go back for review if you are called if the doctor has told you to go back for review for a particular medication like after a week or after three weeks please make sure you go back on that very day because these medications that we use are chemicals some of them are made of chemicals some of them are made of food stuff some of them are made of roots so when you don't follow the rules and regulations or when you don't follow doctor's advice it might become a problem to your body so concerning that matter an iud itself is not a bad drug you only need to follow the rules and regulations you have to have some knowledge about the drug. You have to follow the doctor's advice, just like any other drug, even Panadol, which is just Panadol. If you are told to take it two times three and you take it three times one, it can become a problem. It can become a big problem to your body. That's why you're supposed to follow the dose, doctor's advice and all that so that your body remains safe as they say prevention is better than cure so with that being said this video is meant for learning it's not there to blame anyone or to pin anyone we are just learning here and we pray that may the beautiful soul of our sister baby gloria continue resting with the lord may it continue resting in peace Thank you very much for watching today's video. I remain Sarah Adong and we do bedside nursing care services. We are located at Chireka along Namugongo Road and our contacts are running on the screen. Please try our services. You will not regret to have a nurse at the convenience of your own home. Thank you very much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.